Well, Alison Wright and Demello have teamed up with the son of Rafif. Well done to Ritis Carl Stud, Mr. Chung, and Sibileko, who is fondly known as Fish back home. Thanks to Alison for that. Well done to you, Sibileko. 2,000 rand to you, Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. And I like that uh, nickname they've given you back home. Fish! From Pafana Pafana days. Okay, let's go with uh, Demello first. Stiff in the first, uh, Keegan, but uh, that was still, in, nevertheless, you know, you, you got beaten by an unknown in the race. Yeah, look, it was a positive run. You know, he, he's starting to do things right, which is nice. And, uh, you know, these Jobo bosses come here, you just really don't know how much they have to improve. And, uh, you know, trainers not going to bring them here to see the track. Um, they probably enjoy the surface. And, uh, yeah, just unfortunate we found one better. This race, uh, the one positive was that you had 53 and a half on your back and a horse that was in good form. Yeah, look, he's he's taken a few runs to come back to form, but uh, I think he's probably at his at his best mark now. He's probably got a few points to play with. So, firstly, I must say big well done to Miss, Mrs. and Mr. Wright. Um, they read the race perfectly and uh, they just allowed me to, to, to ride a tactical race and it panned out that way, you know, I thought we were going to go early and uh, they went and they sort of brought it back so I elected to stay a bit wide and then take it on and it worked in his favour. Well, let's take it from a few points to play because you've got a, a lot to play with now going into the last two months and you've developed a sizable lead and that has been the master stroke throughout the season. Just pushing and pushing so you can possibly relax come uh, the final furlong. Yeah, look, uh, I was just very fortunate to get some very good chances um, midway through the season and uh, it helped bring the lead up and, you know, with a guy like Richard chasing you, it's, it's never easy. You can't take your foot completely off the pedal, but... Uh, I'm going to carry on working hard and uh, if it's meant to be, it'll be. The next two months are really exciting for all you guys, you know, with the, the feature races lined up and you've got some exciting horses that you're going to be partnering. Yeah, 100%. You know, our yard is uh, slowly bringing our two-year-olds out and there's some exciting youngsters coming out um, from our yard and other yards. So uh, I think we're in for a nice two months um, to end the season and uh, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to riding the big ones and uh, if it may be, hopefully winning a couple. But uh, if we got the stock, we will be there with the chances. I don't want to miss the opportunity, if you don't have another winner, for Saturday's race meeting, which is Hollywood Bet Scottsville's big race day. You've got some choice mounts there. Yeah, look, I'm really looking forward to the day. Unfortunately, I haven't been um, fortunate with the draw with Gimme a Prince, but uh, he's, he's going to be a tough horse to beat. I know he's carrying a lot of weight, but uh, he's a classy sprinter. And uh, every time I step out to the race course with him, I'm fairly confident because I just know how good he is. And, uh, a couple of my two-year-olds, Outlaw King, uh, he's doing superb at home. He, I think, thought he was in badly need of his first run at Maritzburg, but uh, he seemed to improve back at home. And uh, yeah, he's going to have to improve to to step to to beat the likes of Terry's horse. And uh, Johan's got a nice horse there. But uh, we got the stock, and we're going out there trying. Well, the boys have got a heads up for Saturday. What about the rest of the afternoon? Your next best? Look, I thought a horse like William Rufus back to a 12 will probably suit a little bit. He pulled me hard last time, so. Really hoping for, for, for a good run, even though he's drawn wide. And uh, Philly, like Fashion Enigma, she's, she, she's a difficult ride, but uh, when she wants to put it in, she'll run a good race. And it's not going to be easy with top weight, but uh, she, she's, she'll be running on. What's the number now? I think it's 244. 244, brilliant. I mean, that's a positive number. Do you keep these caps? Do you give them away? I give it away. Um, before I even get out the winner's box, it's given to someone. So, yeah, it's just got a nice fan base and uh, try to give it to whoever I can. If you hit 300, with two months to go, can that cap be mine? Sure. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thank you very much. Well done to Mr. and Mrs. Wright and their team once again. Thank you very much for the opportunities. Mr. Chung, very big well done to him. And uh, to my sponsor, Winning Form, thank you very much. Well done. Alison, uh, you've, you've, uh, you've placed uh, some nice horses this <laughs> afternoon, you know, stiff in the, in the first. But uh, as Keegan mentioned, a horse that's learning the right way. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he ran a great race. Last time out, he was a bit strong over the 12, and hopefully, you know, I think the 12 will suit him, and he, um, he learned a lot today. So, yeah, he's done nothing wrong. Good result for you, yeah, uh, first and third. Uh, Anthony was uh, very happy with the run from that horse, uh, Vengeance Forever. Yeah, listen, um, the, uh, his not previous run time before, he went to the front and sort of just over, overdid it a bit, and, and he pulls very hard. And last time out, we were elected to... Um, you know, drop him in, and and he still pulled over the 16. So um, Tristan was a bit worried about doing the same, but it obviously paid off. And he, I thought he settled lovely and ran on. And hopefully, with a with a draw where he doesn't, you know, he can be a bit closer. He, you know, I think he'll be a big runner. But yeah, great to see him finding his way. 
Mr. Chung, where in the world is Mr. Chung? Yeah, well, a very big well done to Reynolds Chung. He's um, living, he's a Mauritian, um, so he'll be watching from Mauritius. And uh, yeah, he's, he's been very patient with the uh, National Dream, and I'm just glad that it's been worth, worth the wait. Balance of your runners, can you help us? Um, we've got King Bavarian coming off gelding and a break. I think he'll need a run, and uh, he's looking for further. Um, we've got the two fillies, um, 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 Fashion Enigma and American Style. If they bring their homework to, to the track, you know, they, they're in with a place chance. I think they, they don't have the best draws. Um, American Style is probably her last run, though. Um, and yeah, so we're hoping for, for some good runs. Just reflecting on the season, you know, with two months to go, you'll be very happy with the way things have gone for the right team. Yeah, absolutely. I think this is uh, win number 40 for us and um, it's the most winners we've had in a season, so it's been a good season. Fortunately, we haven't got the, uh, you know, a, a good one, but um, just nice that the horses have ticked over through the year. So well done to the staff at home and, you know, they all work very hard and, yeah, very grateful for the winners. You get to chat to Mr. Chung, give him our best and uh, well done to the team. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure he's watching, you know, he loves his racing and yeah, just a big well done to him again. And uh, to uh, Rita Scroll who bred this horse, um, well done. And to Hollywood's best, our sponsors, thanks very much. Well played. Thank you. Well done, Robert Chung. Well done to the right team here. And that's the place accumulator done. Up next, it's the big one, hoping for a sizable pool today. 13.35, 25 to 2, start of the pick six.